iPhone. Don't touch it, man. He'll kill you. Hello and welcome to review of Batman Arkham City. In this exciting episode of the Batman Saga, we find our hero in car trade at an alter ego Bruce Wayne by the elusive Doctor Strange. Shortly after his incarceration, Doctor Strange reveals the truth of Batman's identity to Bruce. During imprisonment in Arkham City, Bruce learns of a violent three-way gang war holding Arkham hostage. At a very little digging, Bruce finds the head gangster to be none other than Two-Face, the Penguin, and Arch Nemesis, the Joker. Now it's up to Batman to stop these acts of violence and silence Doctor Strange from revealing his identity to the world. Let's start out with the gameplay. If you play Arkham Asylum, you pretty much play Arkham City. There are very minor tweaks with combat, plus there are more gadgets to play with, such as the freeze grenades and smoke pellets. You play more open world instead of being a solid day like Arkham Asylum, but will make you rely more on Batman's gliding capabilities for travel. You still have the challenge modes, now dubbed the Riddler's Revenge. Not too much has changed with the challenge modes, opposed to the downloadable characters. So there's Catwoman, Nightwing, and of course, Robin. You can now customize your map variants with new point modifiers, allowing for different scoring. Other than that, the challenge mode is very similar to the original. For the Gotham City Impostors online play, it is sadly still in beta, only for the PC version. The Xbox 360 online beta is still to come. Completely different from the typical Batman way of gameplay, Gotham City Impostors is more like a first person shooter, having a variety of Batman and this weaponry. You play on Team State, representing either Batman or the Joker, in an effort to annihilate your opponents. And here's the scores Gameplay, 9 out of 10. Story, 10 out of 10. Creativity, 10 out of 10. Character development, 7 out of 10. Sound, 8 out of 10. Graphics, 10 out of 10. Giving us a combined score of 54 out of 60. The lockdown game score of 9. <laughs> 